If you are planning on shooting off fireworks this weekend, listen closely. News 2's Ashley Yo spent the day looking into when and where it's legal across the low country. And she joins us from a shopping center in Mount Pleasant that's now a temporary home for a fireworks stand. And Ashley, we all know that people need to be careful. So what are some things that people may not even consider when thinking about fireworks? Well, Carolyn, if you guys want to pick up some of these and shoot them off in Hanahan or Somerville, you've got a time window when you can do that. In Hanahan, 10 a.m. to midnight, and that's new this year. Somerville, 10 a.m. to 1 a.m. In Goose Creek, you can shoot them off on the 4th, but that's it. Not on the 3rd, not on the 5th. But if you live in one of those unincorporated parts of a county, Dorchester, Berkeley, or Charleston, have at it. Go see the fireworks. Boom! The Scarboroughs live over in unincorporated Charleston County, so they're looking forward to a fireworks show in the backyard. Cook 10 racks of ribs, watch some NASCAR, swim in the pool, hang out, play cornhole, and finally shoot some fireworks when it gets dark. And even though there aren't any specific county rules, they follow some of their own. Kids usually stand up on the upper deck, and then we have an acre fence in yard. So what we do is we usually will shoot off the back porch deck so that it stays contained in our yard. And we always put our dogs in first and always make sure that we have a good head count of everybody so everybody can enjoy what we're doing without getting hurt. And the grown-ups might be more excited than the kids. Who do you think enjoys the fireworks more? The My husband. Do. The men, it is almost like a silent competition of blowing stuff up. Over at the fireworks stand on the corner of 17 and 6 Mile Road, Jason showed me some of his best sellers. Shoots up and you get a big explosion, a nice firework display. None of which can be set off in the city of Charleston limits or or at any of the beaches, Folly, Sullivan's, or IOP. Which I can understand because if you allow it to be a free for all on the beach, most people are going to shoot them off and just leave the trash. And then not to mention if the stuff starts to get in the ocean, how it's going to pollute the, the ocean. He also reminds people one night of fun isn't worth risking your safety. It's very easy, but you just have to make sure you're safe doing it. And even six year old Carly knows why. Are they pretty dangerous? Yeah. Why are they dangerous? Because they have, they, they can have, they're really hot when they, when they put fire on them. Really hot when you put fire on them. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we're going to let you know of a situation where it's not just illegal, but it's a federal crime to shoot off fireworks no matter where you are in the low country. We'll let you know where that is at 614. Live right now in Mount Pleasant, I'm Ashley Yost, News 2.